let us now start with one of the most popular topic which is expectation of a random variable okay so what is the expectation of a random variable see expectation is of just a one number that summarize whole pmf pms means probability mass function so it is one one number that will like uh, currently we are first of all studying with respect to the discrete random variable that's why i'm talking about the pmf okay so i can say expectation of discrete random variable it is a single number that summarize the whole pmf in other words you can say that it is a weighted average in proportion to the probabilities of the possible values of x see i have taken one screenshot from mit book this is a book by professors at mit and these are the professors name right so most of the our material is from this book only so this is a book uh, that is uh, very much popular at mit the, that these two professors has written now uh, i have taken the screenshot which says that the pmf of a random variable x provides us the several numbers right which means it if x is taking let's suppose 1000 different values then pmf will will tell you that what is the probability of this value 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 and so on so basically pmf provides the thousand this different number which means many many numbers depend depends on how much uh, how much how many values x is taking the probabilities of all values of x right it would be desirable to summarize the information in a single representative number so i want to represent the all of this information in just a single number obviously like you can't do it uh, as accurately as 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 the, as the pmf represents but yeah to some extent we can uh, we we can represent uh, this whole summary in just one number and that number will be useful to us in some in some sense we will talk about that sense this is accomplished by the expectation of x right which is a weighted in in proportion to the probabilities average of the possible values of x so let's just see directly the definition of expectation of x so if i talk about the expectation of any random variable x then it looks like this which means it is a summation of all possible values of k and k into probability of x equal to k so let's just see some example maybe after that it will be more clear so let's just see this question what they are saying if we toss a coin and x is 1 okay and x is 1 if we have had and 0 if we have tails which means that x is taking 1 whenever head appears x is taking 0 whenever tail appears right now what is the expectation of it, uh, of x that's what they are asking which means expectation of x is what is being asked so what i need to do i need to list down all the all the possible values of x so if you are asking just just listen me carefully if if they are asking the expectation of x then list down all the possible values of x which is 1 and 0 and their probabilities which means just list down the pmf of this x because using the pmf only you can find out the expectation of x so this is 1 by 2 this is 1 by 2 because head appears then then it is uh, it is 1 tail appears then it is 0 1 so 1 by 2 1 by 2 right now what is the expectation of x expectation of x is basically just multiplication of these two number multiplication of these two number and then summation of these two so it is basically as good as saying maybe i can just show you here let me just shift it a little bit so that i can show you okay so it is as good as saying 1 into 1 by 2 plus 0 into 1 by 2 why because just see here multiplication of these two is 1 into 1 by 2 multiplication of these two is 0 into 1 by 2 and then you are just adding this up so basically in the technical terms i can say this is the value of x k into the probability of x being k so which is 1 into the probability so it is basically expectation of x is as good as saying 1 into probability of x being 1 plus 0 into probability of x being 0 right so 1 into probability of x being 1 is 1 by 2 plus 0 into probability of x being uh, 0 is 1 by 2 so that's how you can calculate this expectation which is coming out to be 1 by 2 now i can say the expected value of this x is 1 by 2 now what does this mean to say expected value of x i mean uh, what does it mean to say it logically or intuitively or maybe uh, i mean if i try to interpret the meaning of the expected value then what does this mean to say that i got the expected value of x is 1 by 2 so we will so let's just do one thing so currently we are not talking about the meaning of the expectation okay so meaning of expectation i will talk about the in the next video okay L but before that let's just see that how mathematically we can compute this expectation right so let's just see that how mathematically we can compute so now let's just see the different question now they are saying a fair blue die has face numbered i mean the dice has face numbered 113355 So basically, it's a fair die, but it is having one one uh, on two faces, three three on two faces, and five five on two faces. The random variable b represents the score when the by uh, when the blue die is rolled. 
I mean whatever is uh, coming on the front face. Now find the expected value would be. See, either either one can come, or three can come, or five can come. Which means the value that B can take. So you first have, have to write the PMF. PMF means you need to make a table where you need to write the all the possible values of whatever is being asked. So expected value of B they are asking. So just write the all the possible values of B and their probabilities, right? And their probabilities. So just write down the probabilities here. Now what do you think is the probability for uh, B being one? See, one can appear in two cases, right? And each is having the equal probability because it's a fair die. Three can appear in two cases and five can appear in two cases. So these are the probabilities for B. Now, if you ask me what is the expectation of X, sorry, expectation of B, then you will just multiply these two, multiply these two, multiply these two, and then, then just, just add all of them. So it will be 1 into 2 by 6 plus 3 into 2 by 6 plus 5 into 2 by 6, which is basically you can take 2 by 6 common, 1 plus 3 plus 5 which is actually equal to 2 by 6 into 8 and 9. So uh, this is actually equal to 3. Uh, you can just uh, see that this is just 3, right? So 3 is the correct answer here. So you can say that the final answer is 3. So expected value of B is 3. Now let's just not try to infer any meaning out of it, which means uh, let's not say that okay uh, on on average that I mean let's not infer any meaning so uh, so you might be thinking that okay expected value means on on average uh, or maybe like uh, some people might think that um, that uh, um, I don't know like you you may have any interpretation maybe some people might think that okay if we roll it enough okay if we roll it many many times then we will start seeing three only no it's not like that right I mean see the equal the three is having as good as probability as five is having so it's not like that you will be seeing three more often no, it's not like that. Okay, I can give you the hint currently, but we will not go more than the hint. Okay, so the hint is that, hint is that, should I reveal it? Okay, let me just reveal it. So hint is that you will see this three. I mean, you may not even see this three, first of all. Okay, I mean, uh, see the three probabilities two by six or and whatever is the probability, let's not worry about it. So you may not even see or you you may see it doesn't matter. I mean, uh, three will be appearing on the on the die. Uh, it, it has nothing to do with the expectation, which means this expected value, whatever is this. Okay, the probability of occurring this expected value X being this expected value or the B being this expected value may, may be very less also, which means this probability may be very less maybe very less maybe very high you don't know basically i mean this is a relevant question actually that uh, what is the probability that you will be you will be just seeing the three you know that this is just two by six you know this is two by six actually in this particular case this may be zero also in many cases i will show you the cases where it is zero also i mean i can just show you that okay instead of this one two three four five six if you have just one two three four i mean instead of one one three three four five five you, if you have one two three four five six if this is the role then if you take the expectation of this then it will be one one by six plus one two plus three plus i think six it will be 3.5 and what is the probability that you will be you will be seeing 3.5 on the on the die it is zero isn't it so you will never ever see 3.5 so anyway what i'm saying here is that this expected value that you are seeing this, uh, you, uh, I mean, you are going to see this, see this expected value or not, it is an irrelevant question. So it may be very high. In this case, it is, it is uh, 2 by 6, but in some cases it is 0. In some cases it could be high also, it could be low also. So it is not like that, uh, that you will be seeing this uh, 3.5 or this 3 in this particular case uh, more often. No, it's not like that. I mean, 3 probabilities as good as 1 probability is as good as 5 probability. So you will be seeing them equal, almost, uh, almost same, same, same number of times, right? Then what is this expected value? What is it represents? It actually represents you the average, which means whatever value you are going to see, you will see one, right? You will see one many times. You will see three. You will see again maybe five. You will see one. You will be, you will be seeing three. So if you, so the expected value is basically telling you the average only. If you if you just do this experiment uh, again and again, then if, and and then after that you take the average of all the values, then it will give you the expected value. Now, obviously, the obvious question is that what is the difference between average and expected value, right? So, we will answer this question in, in the next video. So, in the next video, we will be just answering the intuitive meaning of this expectation. But for now, let's just see that how to calculate the expectation at the first place. Okay. So, let's not uh, deviate. Let's just see that how to calculate the expectation at the first place. And then in the next video, I have dedicated a video where I will be just explaining you that what is the difference between expectation and average and what this expectation intuitively mean. But for now, let's not worry about it. Let's just let's just focus on the mathematical derivation of the expectation. So let's just do this question again. Now what they are saying? 
in a game a fair die is rolled and the amount of money won or lost is determined by the number rolled which means if number that is coming up one then you will be losing 8 rupees if you get 2 you will be winning 3 rupees if you get 3 you will be winning 1 rupee if you get 4 you will be losing basically 8 rupees 5 winning 1 rupee 6 winning 5 rupees so it's like that so they are saying that you will be either winning or losing it depends on the number that you are getting right now find the expected amount of money won or lost so they are basically they are interested in finding out the expected amount of money so see whenever they ask you some expectation question then you have to first first basically see that what is the random variable they are interested in right so they are asking about expected amount of let's suppose x x and what is this x the expectation of x what is this x amount of money won or lost amount of money won or lost which means they are saying that if x is amount of money won or lost then find the expectation of x which means expected amount of money won or lost so what i just did this was some english statement i just try to convert that into the mathematical statement which is expectation of x so x is the amount of money won or lost so can you just make a table if number is one how much money you are you are winning or you are winning or lost so basically let me just do one thing let me make a table here probably right so let's just say that x uh, i mean if you get one if you get one then this is the value of x then how much money how much money you are winning or losing right so i think with one with one you will be losing eight uh, i mean uh, minus eight is, i mean in terms of winning you will be saying you will saying you will be winning minus eight or losing just eight right anyway so if you get you you may get two you may get three you may get four you may get five you may get six right so these are the numbers that you may get Now, if you get 2, you will be winning 3, then 1, then minus 8, then 1, then 5. So, these are the numbers that you will be getting. So, see here, what is happening here? This is very interesting question, first of all. See, there are some numbers were given to you. You don't need to find the expectation of using these numbers. Now, there is x which has been derived using these numbers. See, earlier what happened? Earlier, you were having b directly and you are just asking the expectation of b. But here, you have to first calculate the values of x right and then the probabilities of these x the probabilities are actually 1 by 6 1 by 6 because it's a fair die and the, every outcome is having this uh, the um, uh, equal uh, equal chance of appearing now what is the expectation of x maybe you can just calculate it on the next page very easily so let's just go to the next page and calculate the expectation of x now the expectation of x will look like 1 into 1 into minus 8 right maybe 1 into minus 8 i can say plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 1 plus 4 into minus 8 plus 5 into 1 plus 6 into 5 okay sorry i did it uh, wrongly because these are the numbers that is okay but i have to multiply with the probabilities so i don't need to multiply with these numbers obviously it will be wrong I need to multiply with the probabilities, right? So the probabilities is 1 by 6, 1 by 6. So let me just multiply with the probabilities, which is 1 by 6, 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 and 1 by 6. Which is same as saying 1 by 6 minus 8 plus 3 plus 1 minus 8 plus 1 plus 5. Now, which is basically uh, 8 and 8, 0, and then this is 2 minus 8. I think this is minus 6. So finally, it is minus 1 will be the correct answer. So the expected amount of money won or lost is basically minus 1, which means that you will be losing minus 1 on an average, right? I, okay, let's not even find out the intuitive meaning. So expected uh, uh, expectation of x mathematically is minus 1. Now, what does this intuitively mean? Maybe like I will I will tell in the next video, right? Basically, it means that on an average, if you play it enough number of times, then on an average, you will be losing minus 1 rupees. I mean, you will be losing 1 rupees. Okay, so this is a dangerous game. So, I mean, uh, even though actually the expectation is positive, then also I won't suggest you to uh, do this uh, like if there's any chance of losing, right? Anyway, like let's not uh, see the intuitive meaning currently. We will see it later, right? Now, let's just see this question, what this question is saying. Let's just do this question. 
they are saying let s and q are the two random variables their joint probability distribution is given below find out the expectation of q yeah that's an interesting question the reason being is that they have not given the pmf they have given the joint probability distribution currently and then they are saying that find out the expectation of x so first sorry find out the expectation of q you so first what you need to do you need to first first find the pmf find probability mass function for q and then once you find the probability mass function you can basically calculate you can basically calculate uh, the mm, the expectation right so i think for q equal to 0 uh, the probability these are the probability joint probabilities right i mean every every cell is representing this cell is representing q equal to 0 and s equal to 2 probability is 0 like that right so we have done these joint probability ty type of questions earlier also Th that's why i'm just directly writing so this is the probability 0 0.2 this is 0 0.3 this is 0 0.5 which means the probability that probability that q being 0 is 0 0.2 similarly q being uh, 1 is 0 0.3 so if i just make a table 0 1 2 then you will say the probabilities are here which is 0 0.2 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 right now now what will happen now what you can do you can find out the pmf what is the pmf sorry uh, this is the pmf you can find out the expectation what is the expectation you will just multiply these two so 0 into multiplying something doesn't matter this is 0 0.3 plus 1 which is 1.3 so 1.3 is the expectation of q right that's how you can solve this question easy question but nice question in the in the sense that if you know the joint probability distribution then you can do this question otherwise that's a that's little tricky right now let's just do this question what they are saying that a biased die with the six face is rolled the discrete random variable x represents the score on the uppermost face the probability distribution of x is given below okay i mean x being one this is the probability two being two being three this is the probability being four this is the probability five being uh, this is the probability and six six this is the probability now what they are saying the expectation of x is also given to you which is 4.2 they are saying the find the value of a and b of a and b let's just see if you can find the value of a and b so one thing is for sure that it has to be a valid pmf that's why the all the summations should be just one so 3a plus 2b plus 0.3 this should be one because sum of all probabilities of all probabilities is equal to one right now now this is 3a plus 2b equal to 0 0.7 this is the equation number one the second equation could be that they have given the expectation of x right to be 4.2 now can you just uh, make uh, one equation out of it or uh, maybe you can say that um, 1 into a i mean a plus 2a plus 3a plus 4b plus 5b plus 1.8 is 4.2 isn't it so maybe i can i can just uh, solve these two equations and solve the final question so how to solve these two equations maybe i can just simplify this this is 5 and 6a this is 9b that is equal to 4.2 minus 1.8 this will be uh 4 3 2.4 right yeah so this is 2.4 so i think i have got two equations what we can do we can multiply <laughs> Okay, uh, let's just solve it. Uh, we can multiply 2 here and uh, then uh, then we can say that this is a 6a plus 4b equal to 1.4 and then you can say this is 5b equal to, um, this is 0, this is 1, right? So b equal to 1 by 5. If b is 1 by 5, which is basically uh, 0 0.2, if b is 0 0.2, then you can find out the value of a from here. So this is 3a equal to 0 0.7 minus 0 0.4 which is 0.3 so a is 0.1 so b is 0.2 and a is 0.1 so a is 0.1 b is 0.2 that is your final answer right that's how you can solve this particular question easy but nice question okay now let's just move to the next video where i actually tell you that what does the expectation really mean and how this expectation is different from the average let's just let's just see the most important video I mean the most important concept in the next video and where I will tell you the intuitively what is this expectation and how it is different from the average okay 
episode. Thank you so much.